Hi and welcome to another video of Made by Sheem. Today I'm going to show you how to make this a pacifier clip cord. Um, super cute, easy to make, um, little something for a baby shower or just as a gift um, for your friend or for your own baby. They're really, really easy to make. So I hope you really do like the video. Um, if you made one, then please uh, join our Facebook group uh, Made by Seam Headquarters and show us a picture or tag me on Instagram when you post the uh, picture. Um, for now, I really do hope you enjoy watching the video. This is what I'm going to use for the pacifier clip. Um, one of my friends she, in the Netherlands, she does have a web shop where she sells these lovely uh, mini skeins of Scheepjes Katona. And every now and then when you buy uh, something in her shop, she adds um, a little or two or three of these beautiful little skeins. Um, I don't know where you are in the world, but this might not be available in your local area. Therefore, I'm going to put some uh, links to substitute yarns down below into the description box. Um, they're mainly um, full skeins, but then you know that you have the right thickness of yarn, right? If that makes sense. Um, this little cute ball of yarn from Scheepjes Katona has 10 grams and 25 meters per little skein. Um, two and a half to a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. And this, this is a 100% mercerized cotton yarn. If you can find this in your local area, this is color number 247, but feel free to use any color that you like. Um, then there are a lot of different options available for the um, pacifier clips. This is just um, one with th this. This piece is a little bit wider than this one. See? Well, um, I'm going to give you the pattern for the wider one. This is one with a fabric on top of it. Um, then I have a regular one with a piece that is a little wider here as well. Um, so you can use these. You can also use a beautiful one like this. This is um, a Dutch one which says leaf and it means um, sweet or uh, cute or something like that something like that um, but this one has a smaller bit but I'm gonna tell you uh, into the video how you can adjust the size so it will be wider in the end as well so that one but um, for this tutorial I'm going to use this plastic one this one um, I think this is also available all around the world so um, I'm gonna see if I can find it online somewhere, so I can put a description. Uh, I can put a link down below into the description box for you guys. So this is the one I'm going to use in my video. Then I'm going to use a uh, darning needle, a pair of scissors. Um, if you don't want to make it for a baby because you don't have a baby um, in your family or um, you want to make something else just um, for practicing the stitch then you can also use a key ring and uh, attach it to your uh, keys or whatever you like then a measuring tape now this one is like really important because here in the country where I live I live in the Netherlands there are some restrictions for the length of your um, pacifier cord um, 
you want it to be safe. So I don't know what the restrictions are in your local area or in your country, but I'm going to tell you what um, these restrictions are in my country. So um, it would be wise to look it up on the internet and see if you can find anything for your country or where, where you live. But I'm going to tell you how much and what it is in my country. And therefore, you definitely will need um, the pacify the um, I was about to say the pacify clip, the measuring tape. So um, yeah, for all the supplies, I'm gonna try to find some um, links for you guys, and I'm gonna put them down below into the description box. Right, let's get started. <music> Okay, so um, I'm not sure what counts in your country, but in my country, this, the length of where you attach it to the um, pacifier and including the clip should not be any longer than 25 centimeters. Now, mine is 24 centimeters. And that is including the um, clip. If I'm going to turn it around, it is just at about nine and a half inches. So it should not be longer than 25 centimeters, which is just and about just almost 10 inches. So don't go over the 10 inches. Okay. Um, if you're um and and without the passive without the pacifier clip it should be a, a maximum of 22 but mine is like four centimeters so i would go for the max 20 20 centimeters okay so if you can because uh, you, you're going to start here, just measure it within with the um, clip. Now, um, a baby or maybe yourself will start pushing or pulling on um, the pacifier clip cord. See, um, the length it, it'll it'll stretch. So. Um, don't go for the 25 centimeters, but just make it a little smaller. I hope it makes sense what I'm trying to say to you guys. Then we also have a, another restriction. It should not be any wider. Uh, it should be wider than two millimeters. Um, well, this is three centimeters, with, which is um, uh, just and about um, a quarter and a half um an inch and a quarter of an inch or yeah see hope you can see that so yeah that's fine too um so like i said i don't know what the restrictions in your country are so feel free to look it up or to use um the restrictions that counts in my country which is the netherlands okay that's it um Let's get started. All right, I have these two different um, pacifier clips. Eventually, I'm going to use this one in my tutorial, but I want you to be um, able to use one like this as well. Therefore, I'm going to show you first how you can use this one and how you can um, increase your stitches on um, both sides so you have the same amount of stitches as i'm going to use right here okay so um, i'm going to show you first how you're going to do that you start off with a slip knot on your hook this is the way i'm doing that go use for a little bit of a tail end so you can sew it in easier later on then with the slip knot on your hook insert your hook through this hole here then grab your yarn 
yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. There you go. Let me show you that once more. So loop on your hook, insert your hook through the hole here, grab your yarn, grab your yarn, there you go, yarn over and pull through two. This is my very first stitch. Okay. Now I'm trying to fit in five of these stitches into this hole here. So one, two, and they're all single crochet. Three, four, and five. There you go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now, chain one, turn your work, and work two single crochet into the very first stitch right there. One, two. Then one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, Okay, then two single crochet in the very last stitch. Now you have seven single crochet stitches. And this is what we will be using for the pattern. This was just to show you guys how you can uh, increase stitches, but I'm gonna redo it just with the seven single crochet in the one that I'm going to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to do a little bit slower because this was just to show you what to do when you have the smaller clip. Now start off with a slip knot on your hook. Leave a little bit of a tail end. Grab your clip. and make a standing a single crochet around this piece here. So insert your hook in the hole, grab your yarn. Now you have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. I'm just laying my piece of yarn just like that, so I can work uh, my stitches over it. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. Now I have three single crochet and I need seven. Four, five, six, seven. Now, as you can see, you have a little bit of a loop here, which is the yarn tail. See that? Yeah, let me show you. Here, you see a little bit of a loop. See? Because when I insert my hook there you see that I'm going to make it larger and I don't want it larger I want it smaller so I'm holding my stitches down and I'm just pulling on my yarn tail see it disappears here there you go okay now I have a seven single crochet in the in next row um, I want seven single crochets as well, so I'm going to chain one. I'm turning around my work and into the very first one, which is right there. 
this is my very first stitch. The one is here. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. The, the seventh stitch is a little on the side there. I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, so insert your hook here and single crochet one in the next single crochet single crochet in the next number three four five six and a little on the side, there you have your number seven. There you go. Okay. Chain one. Turn your work. And as of this row, the pattern will be one repeat row. Super easy. Now, you just did the chain one. You're going to insert your hook into the very first stitch here. Um, and you will be crocheting a single crochet. Now, for the Suzette stitch, you need an extra stitch right in there. And the extra stitch is a double crochet. So for a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Skip the next stitch. So we're going to skip this one, and we're working a single crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch. So again, two stitches in the same stitch. Skipping the next one, single crochet and double crochet in the next. Now you have two stitches left. One, two. You're skipping this stitch and in the very last stitch of this row, we're going to crochet just a single crochet. So not a single crochet and a double crochet, but just the single crochet. And this is what we will be repeating. So I'm going to tell you again, the next row, chain one, turn your work. Here is your very first stitch. So the last stitch of your previous row will be the first stitch of your next row. So single crochet and double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the double crochet, which is the next stitch, and work a single crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet, double crochet. Skip this stitch, which is the double crochet, and work a double crochet and a single crochet in the next stitch. Now you have two stitches left, which is the double crochet, right there, and the very last one, a single crochet. And in the very last stitch of a row, there is just one stitch, which is the single crochet. And this is, <coughs> excuse me, and this is what your work looks like so far. Let me tell you one more time. Chain one, turn your work. Get here. Um, so in the very first stitch, single crochet and a double crochet. Next is a double crochet. We're going to skip that one. And in the single crochet, a single crochet and a double crochet.
skip, single crochet, and double in the single crochet, skip the double and into the very last stitch, a single crochet. Now this works exactly the same if you are going to crochet around the key ring. Just seven single crochet around the key ring and just follow the pattern just like I did with this one. Okay, now. Um, because it is very, very important that you um, that your pacifier clip cord is not too long. Um, and you you might have um, I'm certain you have a different tension uh, than I have. Um, you might even use a bigger hook size or uh, other yarn. Uh, the most important thing is that you uh, measure your work. Not how many stitches you did, not how many rows that you did. It is super important that you measure your work because you don't want it to be too long. Okay, so if you have, once more, if you have here your cord, um, when you, um, because you see I'm going to uh, decrease uh, the last two rows, so you need to measure from here, which is about a centimeter less, and a centimeter in inches is, um, let me see, um, it's not quite an inch, it's just a little less than an inch, here. So here you, where are you, you are, it's a little bit blurry, there you go, no. So this is a centimeter and this is where it ends up for an inch, so it's smaller than half an inch, okay? Um, so stretch it, because it, I'm sure it, it'll stretch. So stretch it a little, then measure, and it should be including the clip, no, be not longer than 22 centimeters. That's just what I should do. Yeah, 22 centimeters is, 22 is just a little over eight and a half inch. It's eight and a half and 8.7 inch, I don't know how you say that, I'm not familiar with the measurements, it's just what I'm going to show you there, 8 and eight and a little something, and it's still blurry, there you go, just about here, okay, hope it helps. So, um, keep on working the rows that I just show you, showed to you, um, until you have that length. And then I'll... And my very last stitch is a single crochet. Now, um, I have reached my 22 centimeters. I'm going to show you. Okay, I need to pull it a little. Stretch it a little, just like I said before. Look, 22 centimeters, which is somewhere between eight and a half and nine inches let's say eight and a half inch just a little over eight and three quarters of an inch that's it <laughs> yeah, there. okay so um another thing that is important is that you um have when you are right-handed you end up right there here in the corner here your beginning strand of yarn is right there because we worked over the yarn end okay and the good side of your clip is facing you so this is the wrong side and this is the good side if you're using a clip like this one this is the good side and this is the wrong side okay hope it makes sense now um we're going to make it a little smaller, therefore we're going to decrease at the beginning and at the very end of the row. Chain one, turn your work. Now single crochet two together. Insert your hook in the very first stitch, grab your yarn. Insert your hook in the next stitch, which is a double crochet, and grab your yarn. Now you have one, two, three loops on your hook, 
a yarn over and pull through all three. One single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, three. Now you have two stitches left. Two single crochet together. Insert your hook in the first stitch, grab your yarn. Insert your hook in the next stitch, grab your yarn. Again, you have three stitches on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Chain one. Turn your work. Now you have five stitches left. One, two, three, four, five. Again, we're going to crochet two single crochet together. Insert your hook in the first stitch, grab your yarn. Insert your hook in the next stitch, grab your yarn. Three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. One single crochet in your next stitch. And for the last two stitches, two single crochet together. Insert your hook in the first stitch, grab your yarn. Insert your hook in the next stitch, grab your yarn, yarn over. You have three loops on the hook. When you do the yarn over, there we four, and pull through all three. Okay, now to be able to um, attach the uh, pacifier cord to the pacifier, see, um, you need a loop, a loop like this one, okay? But the loop should be big enough so you can pull your pacifier clip through and then all the way this th through here like that. So when you end up, you have it, the pacifier on the other end. I'm going to show you. Be sure that you have the clip on the right side facing you. There you go. This is your pacifier. Turn it like that. Underneath your loop here. This one. Then the end of your pacifier through here. And then pull. And this is what it should look like. Okay? So, we need um, a loop that is big enough for your uh, clip. For me, um, it will be in long enough with 15 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now turn your work. This is your first stitch, your second stitch, and the last is the third stitch. Insert your hook into the third stitch. There you go. Grab your yarn and pull through. Now you made a slip stitch. So this loop should be long enough. Then chain one, leave a long tail end so you can sew it in on the back side of your work easier. There you go. And this is the wrong side of your clip, so this is the wrong side, the back side of your work. So um, weave in all your ends on the back side and then I'll be back. See you guys in a minute. <laughs> And this is what my two pacifier um, clip cords, I don't know how they're called, but this is what they look like. Um, what you can do is uh, crochet some uh, flowers for the girls one, um, or maybe you want to add some buttons. But if you do so, please be really careful and be sure that you sew it really tight. Um, onto the pacifier cord because uh, you don't want to have uh, small bits that come loose because um, you don't want you know what happens to the baby if um, if it comes loose 
so uh, I'm gonna leave mine as they are and um, I hope you really did enjoy watching this video if you're going to make uh, more or if you're going to watch any of my other videos then please do not forget to enjoy bye for now